So the reason I look absolutely ridiculous right now is because I am taking a microplastic survey on trail. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what that looks like and talk about why we're doing it. Um, so right now I have my shirt tucked in, my sleeves rolled, um, I'm not wearing a hat, I took my watch off. Uh, my sun hood is tucked in and I'm going to go grab my supplies. All right, so I'll be sampling right here on trail. One second. On the transect across the trail in three equally separated points. Um, to do that, I have a pasta mason jar top that we've been using just to mark the size of where we want to sample. And then I have this trowel um, and a plastic bag for our samples. Um, so what I'm going to do here is take some of the dirt from this area and I'm going to wash our equipment. So we want to make sure that the plastics in this area are the plastics that are on the sampling supplies. And I think the best way for us to do that in the backcountry is to be cleaning the samples with uh, the dirt that's there so we can kind of assimilate into the environment around us. Um, so right now I'm just rubbing everything off that I'll be using and unfortunately that also means that I have to wash my hands with dirt. Um, I would bring the phone a little bit closer but I have a plastic phone case. I'm going to sample above me on the trail um, and I can do a demonstration of this after the video. So I have three equally spaced transects and I'm going to pound the cap into the ground as far as it can go, and I'm gonna use that as my benchmark for how much to take from the trail. And sometimes it's just very surface, maybe like one or two centimeters deep, and other times it's a little deeper than that. But we wanna try and get as much as we can. We never really go deeper than five centimeters. And a few moments ago, I sampled on the side of the trail and got a background sample. So that way we can kind of compare just the surrounding area, like what is ambient plastics maybe. So like what might be coming from the atmosphere versus what is really actually coming from our technical gear and our shoes. And this is our third sample. Just sealing the bag here. And now that I finished up, I'll bring the phone over and kind of show you what I did. So uh, this is my sample, quite nice. Um, then right here, I have a hiking pole and you can see those three little divots. So I evenly spaced using the poles measurements. Uh, this plastic cap, I pounded into the ground a little bit. I didn't try that hard, but then you have where you want to dig into. Um, and to minimize our environmental impact here and just not to leave a ton of divots on the trail, we fill those in once we're done. Um, so make sure that we restore the trail back to what it looked like before. So all of that is taken care of. Um, so you might be wondering right now, uh, how do microplastics get into the environment? And I'll explain to you as I untuck my shirt here and package the sample. So microplastics get into the environment via our technical clothing, our shoes. Um, as we walk, the rubber wears down off of our shoes and that is usually a plastic polymer and that gets left in the environment. Um, you might see, oh, there are fire ants. So I'm gonna stand up, of course. So you might see, we might see some rubber from shoes. Um, we also might see um, plastics from our technical gear. So like nylon and polyester breaking down. 
Um, and we could also see plastics from trash breaking down in the environment and being weathered. Um, so there's a really good mix of ways that microplastics can end up in more remote environments like that. Um, we also might see microplastics from the atmosphere. So microplastics are sometimes suspended into the environment via mechanical processes. So let's say you have a car driving down the road, the tires are breaking down and the tire fragments are flying up into the sky. Or you do your laundry and you have the dryer and the dryer might be expelling plastic pieces into the air. Um, so we might actually even see plastics from city centers in, in these areas. Um, but yeah, so our goal is to see if there are microplastics on trail, which we would assume there are, and what kinds are the most prevalent. Um, but yeah, I think that's my quick overview of this. I should put my hat back on and catch up with the rest of them. They're doing a trash survey. And here is to mile 150. Thanks for watching, guys.